there, I'm Dee Rayson. Today's story is a shocking one. It's all about the dangers of solar panels for allergy sufferers. And this is a very serious topic. But to really get you to understand what I'm talking about, we're going to have to go head outside. Okay, we're outside. I normally don't um, record out here because it's hard for me not to squint uh, with the sun. And I'd normally record later in the afternoon, but our neighbours are copying us. So I wanted to show you what they had in place before they started to do what we, we did to get rid of this problem. Now, you may think, how can solar panels be dangerous for allergy sufferers? I mean, they're environment, environmentally friendly, and that's why we had them put on. Um, but, but I'm going to show you. Now, first of all, you need to hear about the story. So we'll meet the two stars of our story here. The first one is Joe, hubby. Where is he? Oh. Uh, got to find. Hang on, Joe. Bop down. Hi. Hi, that's Joe. And the second one is Ticey. Come and say hello to the people. So this is Ticey. Here's the other one. Oh, stop growling at the camera. <laughs> okay, he doesn't like being filmed. Um, so what actually happened is it was during winter and because of my allergies, I always have the window open a smidge. And there's always, it was very wind, windy over the Melbourne uh, winter. And I kept feeling like I had like uh, hay fever, allergies all the time through the winter and I couldn't understand why. Now Tyson used to stand outside the window and he was howling, howling every morning because we had some pigeons on the roof, nesting, we just thought on the roof. So um, he'd be up there crying because he didn't like their noise and upset with them. So I told Joe, he said, I'll go up on the roof and have a look. Now what he found will shock you. And then it all made sense because when he actually went up there to clean out this problem, I was sitting in the office and I suddenly broke out in all these allergic reactions. My face blew up. I started to feel really hot in the face. My blood pressure went crazy. It went sky high. And I was actually inside, but the window in the toilet was actually open a little bit and the, the actual the fumes and stuff were coming in from that window. So let's go up. I'm just going, I'm a bit nervous of heights, but um, okay, well, I'm going up here. Don't, I, I had some NLP done on this, so I didn't actually have nervousness about the heights, but we're going to go up. Okay. So here we go. He wants me to move in so I don't fall out. Tyson would like to come up with this, but he can't. See, Lord okay. Tyson? Okay, here we go. We're going up, up to see what the problem was. And we're going to find the solution and we're going to see what our neighbour's doing to try and copy us. Okay. So we just stop here. What was actually happening is the birds were nesting underneath the solar panels. And they had all their nests under there. And when Joe went and had a look, there were all dead carcasses of birds under there, nests everywhere. And when he cleaned out the roof and under the solar panels, it was almost, you know, um, how much? How many kilos? Well, possibly about 100 kilos of droppings. 100 kilos of droppings that were in these big drums that he put into the garden. So all that actual, um, how do you say it nicely? Birds droppings. <laughs> and the pigeons are actually some of the best, worst carriers of disease. That was actually coming down on those windy days, flying into the air around the courtyard and then coming into our windows. So I was getting really bad re allergic reactions to it, even though I was doing everything right. So we'll have a look at the solution now, because I don't ever do anything without telling you the solution. So I'm just going to turn this around now. Okay, the solution that Joe found. He cleaned out all the bird stuff. He got some of this meshing from Bunnings or somewhere, you know, a hardware store. He bolted it into the top, as you can see, all the way along. Now, that took quite a while. So on the first day, that's all he got done and he hadn't actually siliconed the bottom. Now what happened is the birds went back and they started nesting back into the under the solar panels within one day. So Joe went out, cleaned that out again, and then he actually put the silicon, silicon in here so that it, it stops the birds from getting in. So we've had good results. They still sit sometimes on the top. There's not much you can do about that. But we're gonna head up now um, to have a look at the neighbors, what they were doing for their solution, but I think they're copying us now. So let's have a look. Okay, this was the solution that our neighbours had. They had a few of these white flags, see the white flag there? And they used to walk up and down, up and down all day long trying to keep the pigeons off the roof. Now they've decided to sort of copy our idea and do the same thing because they've seen that we've got results. So you should get someone up there. I wouldn't advise a ladder, we've got a scissor lifter, so get someone that's actually got some good equipment. Um, 
and get it done because it really is dangerous for people with allergies and it's something we never think of. So we're heading back down now.